Welcome! In this video, I'd like to introduce the area under a curve using the geometric approach before your calculus course. We'll begin our topic with an example. Let's sketch a picture in the rectangular coordinate system according to the question. Draw a graph of the function given p of t equal to 74 plus 2t. As a y-intercept 74 and the slope 2 as shown, since we need to find the total trash amount for the next seven years, let's share the region under the line up to t equals 7. The region bounded by the line and the horizontal axis is a trapezoid. Therefore, let's use the formula for a trapezoid to find the area. Two bases B1 and B2 are as shown. And the height H is the distance of the two bases. Let's substitute each value into the formula then. The length of the base 1 should be 74 as the y-intercept is 74. And the other base should be the y value or p of 7 value. Substituting t of 7 into p of t function, we get 88. And the height h is 7, of course. We then calculate it to get the area as 567. So the total amount of the trash over seven years is 567 tons. Let's look at another example. Again, we need to sketch a curve. It is not a familiar function, so we try to square both sides to get y squared equal 9 minus x squared. We then rearrange the equation to get x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. After rearranging the terms, we get a circle with a radius 3. This circle equation can be solved for y, and we get two functions. For our case, we are interested in the plus function, which is the upper semicircle. Therefore, our target region is as shown. Let's find the area of the shaded region then. Since this is a semicircle, we use the formula for a half circle. Substitute the radius 3 into R to get 9 half pi square units, which is our area that is bounded by the curve. Let's try one more example. Again, we need to sketch a graph of the function. Since it shows an absolute value function, let's recall the definition. It becomes a piecewise function. Solve the inequality to find out the domain for the first part of the function. And remove the negative sign to get the actual function. Solve the other inequality to get the domain for the other part of the function. Here is a simplified piecewise function with each domain. Start with the first one. We draw a line without considering the domain first. Plot the y-intercept negative 2 and plot another point by making use of the slope 1 half. 
Then connect the two points to draw a graph. However, this graph should be the domain after 4, so this is a correct line. Likewise, for the other part of the function, plot the y-intercept as 2 and plot another point by making use of the slope negative 1 half. Then connect the two points to draw a graph. Again, this graph should be less than 4 for the domain. So this is a correct line. Since we need to find the area from x equal negative 1 to 6, the region bounded by the graph, the two lines, and the horizontal axis are two triangles as shown. We now find the areas of the two triangles with each base and the height using the formula. The base of the left triangle is a distance of two x coordinates, negative 1 and 4, which is 5. And the height is a y value at x equal negative 1. So we substitute negative 1 into y equal negative half x plus 2 to get 5 over 2. Similarly, the base of the right triangle is the distance of two coordinates, 4 and 6, which is 2, and the height is the y value at x equals 6. So we substitute 6 into y equals half x minus 2 to get 1. Finally, calculate to get the total area as 29 over 4 or 7.25 square units. I hope this video has helped you in your preparation for starting a calculus course smoothly. Thank you for watching. See you again.